morning, Patriot Pioneers. I'm your sick best friend, Chris Danforth, and I hope everyone's having a great Wednesday. In this episode, we'll be interviewing the South Asian Student Association and talking to Mrs. Love about the senior trip. We'll see highlights from the recent regional championship basketball game, and we'll talk to some students about the new late work policy. To finish the episode, we'll review the movie Dune. PTHS TV reporter Hadis Haruni recently interviewed South Asian Student Association's officers Rithika Bawa, Miriam Usman, and Hamza Sethi about the club activities. Hi, I'm Hadis Haruni and I'm here with uh, the South Asian Student Association or otherwise known as SASA. Um, what are some of the main goals your club aims to achieve? I think for us, some of the main goals that we really want to achieve is just to bring overall awareness to South Asian culture. We think that South Asian culture is such a big and integral part of Patriot, and so really bringing that out for all of our students of all different races and colors is so, so important to us. I think that we also are really trying to bring in those service hour opportunities, and so a lot of what our club does is we collaborate a ton with International Club, and so we really try to bring that sort of a service aspect to it and just the overall club collaboration. What type of impact do you want to leave on the community? Um, as individuals, we kind of like fall into this, like we're in a very like diverse kind of country, and so there's a lot of different aspects, so being able to focus on just who you are is really just really important and kind of the influence I want to leave. Um, describe what goes on during one of your club meetings. Yeah, so as uh, Ritika and Miriam said, we like to kind of spread knowledge about the South Asian culture and South Asian foods. So um, every meeting is different. Usually we have like a country that we go over in the South Asian region. So for example, if we have Pakistan one day, we'll have a PowerPoint presentation on Pakistan kind of to spread knowledge on the country. And then after that, We'll have uh, probably a Kahoot for fun and then uh, give out some food or treats. Great job, guys. Next up, we have Mrs. Love, who gave us an insider on the senior trip and has talked about how COVID has changed the process for both students and teachers. More information is still coming in about the trip, but it'll hopefully be finalized soon. Hi, I'm Valeria Valverde and I'm here with Miss Danielle Love. So, we know that since the start of COVID, there have been many restrictions and a lot of events have been canceled, including senior trips. What can you tell us about that? In um, 2019, I was the co-sponsor for that class and we, had, we were in the process of planning senior trip that year when we were sent home for the rest of the school year. Unfortunately, we didn't have a senior trip that year and graduation um, was also canceled. We held a drive-through graduation in the parking lot where teachers were able to line the parking lot and wave at their students as they picked up their diplomas from administration. Um, we also were able to hand out senior gifts and t-shirts through a distribution in front in the front parking lot as well. Um, in the class of 2021 we know prom um, was a little bit different but we were able to bring that back a little bit and have the students move from room to room and have formal pictures done at the end of the night so um, and they did not have a senior trip also. What can you tell us about this year's senior trip? So this year's senior trip was voted on to attend um, a day at King's Dominion. Um, it, it, will, it is being planned for the first week in April. Um, more information will be forthcoming as we finalize um, transportation and tickets. So look out for that. It's coming through um, social media. It'll come through email. It'll come through advisory. Make sure that you bring a friend, get your friends on board. Um, the only way that we're able to have the senior trip is if everyone's interested in going. And lastly, what are your fondest memories of senior trips within the last 10 years? We, um, I was the class of 2019 sponsor and we took a trip to Bush Gardens. Um, and you know it's a good trip at the end of the day when the students are waiting at the gate for you to get on the bus to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Back to you. For any questions on this year's senior trip, you can contact Mrs. Love at lovedm at pwcs.edu or you can visit her room 2019. Next up is highlights from the men's varsity basketball game held Friday, February 25th. The Pioneers faced against the Battlefield Bobcats for the 6B Regional Trophy. That she wrote, speech to the young, speech to the progress toward. Say to them, 
Say to the down keepers, the sun slappers, the self soilers, the harmony ushers, even if you are not ready for the day, it cannot always be night. Sir, that's not do work. Well, six of like might. He's out of sight. Whoa, you ain't got me pipe. policy has changed. Most of us have gotten used to turning in our work towards the end of the quarter, but the new policy now requires that we finish our work by the end of the unit. For some students this is a great relief, and for others it's the exact opposite. Let's ask pioneers what they have to say about the new policy. To close out the show, enjoy PTHS TV's movie review segment, held by film studies student Derek Kilmer and James Fillmore. Hello, my name is James Fillmore and this is Derek Kilmer. Um, today we're going to be reviewing Dune. So Dune was nominated for 11 different Oscars actually. In my opinion, I really liked the movie Dune. I thought there was a lot of good things about it, but uh, I, I 
did not like Dune as much as James, but mm. I, I do think that you know there were certain certain good things about the film. Some of the main things I liked about Dune is it's supposed to be a, a multi-movie series. It's going to start a little bit slow when you get into the series, and I appreciate the build-up. I know it's going to come out to make a really really amazing second movie if they put all the right things together and connect the dots. Yeah, I think I think it'll it'll be a better um, a better end result. The second movie is the climax and, and the payoff. To judge. You know, an incomplete series is kind of wrong, mm -hmm. but but I have to I have to look at it as a, as a solo film for now. Right now, it's not it's not complete for me, and it's just not rewarding in any way. The ending. True, the ending is uh it's kind of like anticlimactic. One thing that I also found really really good about doing was just like the cinematography. Some like the huge compositions that we had in the movie, these large scale battles are just like these like beautiful things. That like thought it was amazing. That's one thing I'll agree with you about. They're very well directed too. Mm -hmm. The um the way they're cut and um so are the fight scenes. It's very slow paced. Yeah. It well I mean it, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It lagged, kind of felt like it was trying to get somewhere. I do feel and like we haven't gotten there yet. Yeah, you know? I do feel like the pacing was a little inconsistent. What did you uh, What did you think about the actors? I thought the actors were really, really well picked out. Um, it's funny to me that Zendaya was like yeah. on every single poster, and then literally you only get um, about ten minutes of screenplay of her. The main actor, the main guy, I thought he was really, really good at uh, in his role. Yeah. I d I did like the acting in the film. Yeah. And I thought that. I thought that the bad guy, the Baron, was mm -hmm. also very, very well performed. Uh, I think that is the one thing that kept me in the film the most, was the, the actors yeah. and the, the characters themselves. I was invested in it. What do you think about the soundtrack? The soundtrack? Uh, loud. I was in the movie yes. theaters, and I'd be listening to it, and it was like, bah! I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, the, the soundtrack was, it, it literally like elevated the movie. Anyway, I thought the film was pretty good and I do think it's, uh, it definitely could and should deserve um, some Oscars. I think that it deserves certain Oscars, but I do think that there are better nominees for Best Picture. <laughs> I guess you could say it's mid. Yeah. I th I'm looking forward to the next one though. All right, well, thank you so much. This is our review of Dune and uh, peace. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Thank you to everyone who tuned in today. I'm your best friend, Chris Danforth. Remember to stay safe and be kind. See you next time, Pioneers.